As you will hear quite often in science classes, energy is neither created nor destroyed. It rather changes and is transferred between objects. Because there are many forms of energy, you may be wondering what exactly it is. Well, simply put, energy is anything with the ability to do work. Here, what I mean by work is a little different than how we normally define it. In physics, work is done when a force is applied to an object, thereby moving it over some distance. Thereby moving it over some distance. For example, when you push a heavy box, you do work by exerting force on it, moving it across the floor. As you might expect, this idea of work is very important. It, for example, describes the rotation of a wind turbine. Therefore, energy too is important as it facilitates work. When we talk about energy and how it changes, we must first understand its different forms. The two most basic forms are kinetic and potential energy. Firstly, there is kinetic energy. This is the energy of motion, which means that any moving object has it. As an example, a moving car has kinetic energy. Next, there is potential energy. This is the energy that something has because of its position, which explains why it is commonly referred to as stored energy. One example of this is the potential energy that an apple has from being high up in the air. You can think of it as having the potential to fall. When it eventually does fall from the tree, due to the force of gravity, it speeds up, thereby gaining kinetic energy. Because the overall amount of energy has not changed, this means that the potential energy has been transformed into kinetic energy. Next, there is mechanical energy, which is the sum of both kinetic and potential energy. This means that it describes all the energy some object has due to its motion and position. Then there is chemical energy, which is stored in the bonds between atoms and molecules. In turn, it is a form of potential energy. As an example, when wood is burned, chemical energy is released. We can see this through the heat of fire. Speaking of heat, this is another type of energy, meaning that in the burning of wood, for example, chemical energy is converted to heat energy. Heat energy results from the kinetic energy of molecules, which are constantly in motion. As you can see, energy comes in many forms, where there are two most basic classifications. Kinetic energy, arising from motion, and potential energy, arising from position. That is, it is stored energy. Also, mechanical energy is defined as the sum of both potential and kinetic energy. This, in turn, means that anything with either potential energy, kinetic energy, or both has mechanical energy. We have also talked over a couple of subtypes of these classifications. Chemical energy and heat. Because it is stored in the bonds between atoms and molecules, chemical energy is a form of potential energy. For heat, as it arises from molecules moving, it is a form of kinetic energy. Overall, the most important thing to remember is that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It instead is transferred and changes form, such as when the potential energy of an apple changes to kinetic energy as it falls. It should also be noted that this idea of energy conservation is called the first law of thermodynamics. Thanks for watching.